Hello everyone. So last video was all about faces and cart like cartoony type faces. So just to go back real quick, um, we saw all of these guys. So watch my last video if you want to see how to do these, how you can take things, make them different. But we're going to take that basic concept of making cartoon faces and apply it to some forms. So forms, what is a form? A form is a three-dimensional object, and it could be either geometric, so like cubes, cylinders, uh, things like that, or it could be natural, which is called organic. If it's organic, you're going to look at things like rocks, bubble gum that's been chewed up, things like that. So right now, I'm going to show you basics on how to draw some different forms, and then I'm gonna show you some shading with it. So I'm gonna try to break this down into two videos, that way it's not too overwhelming because there's a lot to it. Um, I did this on a larger piece in my class already, and this is what I have from before. These are not completed. I'm still, they're still works in progress. Oops, that one's upside down. So these guys are still works in progress and you can see how some of the faces go on here and then we do some shading. We still, in this one, we still need all the shading on the ground, but most of our texture is there, but I need to finish the texture here. So I'm gonna do some smaller ones because these sheets are pretty big. I don't have time to go through quite all that with you. So we're gonna make some minis, all right? So let's get to that right now. So first, first off, let's do a cube. A cube is based with a square. Pretty sure you've all made a square. If not, that's how you do it. All right, and now we're gonna put one side of the square uh, up a little bit from it, just one side. Well, sorry, two sides, the top and the bottom, or the top and the right because we're gonna have this square going towards the right. Now there are other ways to draw these and you'll see those in the future, but for right now, this is your start. So from this corner, from each of these corners, going at the same angle, I'm going to go ahead and connect these. And if you find that your line doesn't connect all the way, if you're going the same angle, that's okay just extend it. If you take that same line and you try to match that, that's not going to be quite even, which is great for perspective drawing, but we're not doing that right now. And if you get this line too long and it's just out of sorts, you're going to have a picture that looks something like that. And that's where you know you went wrong. You need to know that all of the lines on the side should run parallel. So how do you tell if you are doing that or not? Easy peasy way to find out. Take your ruler. Okay, there's my angle. You can see I'm actually a little bit off. So right here, you don't even have to use a ruler but um, for this, but you can see my angles are way off. Um, so I just slid it from the top to the bottom. Um, so if I'm gonna do this, I wanna show you right. So for my angle, that's right out here and then straight down. So that's better because it's right here and right here. So my angles are much better on that one now, okay? So you can do that with a piece of paper. You don't have to have a ruler. You just take a folded up piece of paper or the edge of a piece of paper, measure it, slide it, slide it, and there it is, okay? So that's how you would make the side of your cube. But we're gonna put some texture on these and some faces, so let's go ahead and put a face. You can use any of the ones I've showed you or your own. Um, you can also make something new if you like. I'm gonna do this and just kind of have some fun with this one, kind of like a zen type, I'm having a peaceful moment cube. All right, and I'm gonna get rid of this little extra because we wanna clean up our form. All right, so there is, oops, there is a cube, easy peasy cube. All right, now I know some of you may struggle with this, just keep trying if you're having a tr uh, difficulty, um, but just remember the whole thing is lining it up. Okay, so this should be lined up evenly. 
All right, next part, I'm gonna draw an oval. This is where we get some people who have a little bit of a difficulty. Sometimes their oval goes all wonky. If that happens, don't stress too much. If you draw lightly enough, you can erase things. But if you draw really hard, like I did over here, it doesn't all go away. Fortunately for us, that's gonna be under some texture, so it won't matter too much. But you wanna draw nice and lightly until you've got everything set. Like see right here, that needs to come down just a little bit so it's even on both sides, okay? So now I wanna draw two lines straight down and then curve this so it matches that same basic curve on the top. So you'll notice a lot of things match from one end to the other. You can also take something like this and put it sideways like it, like we did in the other picture. So I'm just trying to show you, you can see this one. Um, I'm just showing you a different way here. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so let's give this one a face. I mean, I just give this one little beady eyes. I don't know, I feel like it needs beady eyes. And he's just like, huh, whatever. Oh, I forgot the eyebrows on this one. And I wanna give the bottom lip, there we go. This one's just like, huh, whatever. There we go. Sometimes even one little dotable um, thing will enhance your picture. Okay, so we can also do things like, um, I'm gonna keep these separate, uh, but you can overlap your objects. If you go to overlap something, you just don't draw that portion. So like here, I would just skip and go up. So I'll do at least one overlapped object on here. Um, I'll do that right now. I'm gonna go ahead and draw a arrow facing up like this and then I'm going to draw to where I imagine my ends to be and then I'm going to just stop when I touch there okay so it's not overlapped very much but it definitely is overlapped um, on this one I'm going to have it looking over here but one of them I had where it was one eye on both sides this one I'm just going to have it like looking down like just looking down. Maybe there's something down there to look at. I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. Or maybe, let's see. You know what? I think I'm going to have this one. Let's do this. They're going to look up. Maybe they're thinking. There we go, they're thinking. All right, and you know what? Let's see, let's clean that face up a little bit. There we go. All right, so with a cylinder, you can also, like I said, you can do your cylinder laying down. So you would just do the oval, and then only one end is curved on the other side. So circle and then curve on one side. So you could do an oval like that. Like, sorry, like this and then stretch it out. Okay, so next up, oh, the other kind of pyramid you can draw, I'm actually adding extras in here, but the other kind of pyramid you could draw is one where it is just a triangle in the front. And you can see I went a little bit wonky there. That's okay, this isn't gonna matter for that. They're gonna be covered with texture anyway. Again, please don't draw too dark like I am right here. It makes it a lot harder. I just wanna make sure you can see this um, easily enough when you work. So on this one, I'm gonna do that thing where uh, I put one eye on both sides. This one, I'm gonna give it a nose right here. And then this one will be looking down. There we go. All right, so just so you can see the other kind, and we are missing our cone, uh, our sphere, and our organic. So a cone, I'm gonna go ahead like I did in the other one, and I'm gonna erase part of this line right here. Just to erase that. Let me move that into the frame a little bit better. And I'm gonna put a triangle right here. 
and I'm going to curve that and now it's kind of like a little hat but I want this to have a face too so I'm gonna just put you know what that one I don't even feel like it needs a nose I just want it to have like a little face like that they don't always have to have a nose it's okay and I didn't give this guy a face at all so let's do I think this one will be a girl and not that guys ha can't have eyelashes too but um, in cartooning we associate um, more feminine with eyelashes everybody can have eyelashes of course there is no gender to having or not having eyelashes but um, let's go ahead and just do that. And I think everything on this one is just going to be a slash. There we go. Cool. All right. So the next thing is a sphere. And a sphere is a three-dimensional. Like you see a circle here, but if we shade it and make it look three-dimensional, it is no longer a circle. It is then called a sphere. So pyramids, cylinder, cube, cone. All right, so cone, cube, cylinder, pyramids. Here's another cylinder and a sphere. Oops, forgot a letter there. Oh, what am I doing? It's the end of the day. There we go. All better. <laughs> oh, goodness. How silly. All right. So um, let's go ahead and let's see. I did like those happy eyes. Let's give this some happy eyes. Um, let's see. Let's do a nose up, up, up and just like a really little happy typeface and i'm going to give a mouth on that one like that okay so that one's a little bit funky looking but that's okay it doesn't matter and then just to make sure that these are not all floating i'm going to do what's called a horizon line up in the background here background is what's behind things so this is a horizon line here That's your horizon line. And so that helps us anchor things. All right. So there's your basic forms. Uh, oh, you know what? One more before we're done. And that's our organic. And an organic is just something natural looking. So in this case, I'm just going to make kind of like a little blob right there. All right. Let's add a face to that. Um, this will be... A blob that's just kind of like blah. They're blah blob. Just like whatever. I don't know. I tend to like when I um, think of these things, I tend to kind of personify them and think of little voices in my head. Um, I can't help it. It just is what it is. All right. With that, um, check out the next video, which will show how to shade and add some texture. Thanks, guys. Take care.